Another box of 10 vintage cassette tapes. These are the TDK C90s. These were the pretty basic tapes, nothing special about them. And, uh, but they look unused. It's funny, the guy I bought them from, I got boxes and boxes, cases of these things for just a couple dollars. They got them, I don't know where they got them uh, or how much they paid for them, but they told me that they went through uh, four tape decks erasing them. I kind of made mention, well, you could have just bought a bulk eraser and got that over pretty quick. They had no idea. They had a big plan to sell these to some thrift store in Sioux City, Iowa, just south of us here in Sioux Falls. But they never came, uh, you know, got around to doing it, and so just unloaded them at a garage sale to me for two dollars. And I've been selling these boxes for the last, uh, oh, probably over a year now. And uh, this one sold for thirty-five dollars. This is just a power adapter. It's a Sony, and uh, I always list these with a, a picture of my uh, test meter hooked up to it, so showing that it works and the voltage it's putting out. And uh, this sold for $18. It was just uh, in a box lot. This is a uh, still new in the box electric uh, popcorn popper, hot air type. A little damage on the box there. But this was uh, just part of a box lot at the auction. And um, I wasn't sure if this would sell or not. And it did take quite a while. But it sold for $35. And it's going to England. And uh, it's going to cost them a uh, more than just a quid, that's for sure. I think about uh, forty-two dollars to ship it. But again, this was just part of an auction box lot. Ever since I started lobbing up the uh, seven-inch reel tapes that I have so many of, they've started to sell. This is a group of seven that has some uh, rock music recorded on it. Actually, some pretty good stuff. They're average recordings as far as quality goes, but uh, this uh, lot of seven tapes sold for uh, $45. This group of uh, patches, they're uh, softball, women's softball league patches from uh, this area of the country, South Dakota, Nebraska. And uh, these came in a box lot and I really had high hopes that they would sell for at least $20, but I've had them a long time and finally just took a $10 offer. On. It's been a while, but another pair of the uh, Salvatore Ferragamo women's shoes that I bought at auction. Bought a whole pile of them for about $20, $25. All the uh, farm hands were scratching their heads when I took this out of the row instead of the toolbox that was there. And uh, this pair in size 7.5C. Sort of a, a weird size, but it sold for $70. If you ever see these uh, Bregg Polar Care units at garage sales, pick them up, they sell. This one, uh, I actually bought two at a garage sale. They weren't marked, and I asked, well, how much do you want for them? And she said, well, make me an offer. I said, how about $5 for both of them? And she said, sure. I guess uh, once they're done using them, they have no use for them. And... Uh, I actually uh, sold one right away and then immediately got a cancellation on it. There was no reason for the cancellation. And uh, so I waited half a day just in case they changed their mind again. But finally refunded them. And then uh, within a few hours, it's uh, had another sale. So I still have one left to go. And these sell, or this one sold for $80. From the uh, small parts division, these are a couple of uh, amplifier faceplate bolts. They uh, came off a Marantz amplifier. Apparently, if you're missing one, you'll pay 10 bucks to get one. And this person bought two of them. I had three of them up for sale, one had sold previously. So, 20 bucks for these two faceplate bolts. This is a Panasonic cassette player I found at an estate sale for about $4. And uh, it does work, just oozes 70s styling, sort of a pre-boombox era cassette player. And uh, I took a video of it, and it didn't take very long, just a, a week or so, and it sold for $30. I found this uh, desk blotter 
in a uh, uh, the the uh, items I acquired in a table lot at the auction. Uh, it's got some staining, some ink impressions and whatnot on the uh, the middle part, but the edges are nice. So if you put a calendar over it, it's still going to be nice. And uh, I figured it was vintage just by the label on the back, Chicago desk pad they're better and this sold for uh, thirty dollars this is a uh, phono cartridge for a turntable it's an empire empires are uh, you know average a little above average uh, phono carts and this particular model is nothing special but it did come with the uh, the jewel box and the outer box and the instructions I'm not sure if it's been uh, used much at all so it's still sold for uh, $60, and I acquired this along with all the other equipment from the elderly lady's basement that I cleaned out. Another lot of 7-inch uh, reel-to-reel tapes. These are Maxell. And, uh, they're all pre-recorded, and the bo boxes are marked. Oh boy, this has got that Steve Miller abracadabra. I also got the album and the reel-to-reel uh, -reel that these uh, were recorded with. That's a horrible album. Just my opinion. Uh, I don't know what he was thinking. I think that was all done for the uh, MTV generation of uh, music. But uh, these four reel-to-reel uh, -reel tapes sold for $40. This is a Marantz AM FM tuner. Just a tuner, not an amplifier. And this I acquired along with the other Marantz equipment for about $1,600. And uh, this is all through a Craigslist ad that was for a guitar. But I noticed uh, some pieces of stereo equipment in the background. So I emailed the guy and said, uh, I don't need another guitar, but is your stereo equipment for sale? And he said, yeah, all of it. So I came over and I bought this real high-end Marantz equipment and the JBL speakers that sold last week for $1,200. This Marantz tuner sold for $250. This is a lot of about 35 uh, six-pack holders, cardboard uh, beer holders um, that uh, pretty much uh, uh, craft breweries, that kind of thing. And these I found while rooting through the uh, uh, recycling dumpster at uh, World Market. I find some good uh, packing material from those dumpsters and they threw out a bunch of these and I thought, well, what the heck, let's just list them and see what happens. And they sold for $25. This is the owner's manual for a Akai reel-to-reel -reel tape deck. And this is the tape deck that uh, the tapes I've been selling was recorded on. I have that tape deck and uh, it does need a little bit of work. I haven't even decided if I wanted to sell it or not because I've got it sitting in one of my uh, console stereo cabinets. But this uh, manual sold for $30. This is a uh, Strum & Brook cantilever type uh, sewing basket. It does have legs that have taken off already and I'll remove the handle when I ship it as well. But uh, these are built in Norway and uh, I saw this on Craigslist. Actually, what they were selling was a sewing machine. And uh, I saw the basket along with it. So I uh, got them down to $30 on everything. And uh, so far, I've just listed this basket. And it sold for $180. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the sewing machine because it's in one of those uh, stands. or And uh, I might take it out and try and sell it just to... Uh, by itself. It's a more modern, probably a 70s singer. But again, this is a uh, Strum & Brook cantilever sewing basket, sold for $180. It's another 7-inch uh, reel-to-reel -reel tape. It was pre-recorded back in uh, 1966. And uh, this one's called In a Jazz Groove. And it was recorded off the uh, Armed Forces Radio Network. And uh, I just have a few uh, of these tapes listed singly. Um, 
because they are so well done and uh, very good content. And uh, this sold for $15. This is an Ankyo turntable. Not very high-end turntable at all. I paid $5 for it at a garage sale. It's got typical scratches in the uh, dust cover lid. And uh, you can tell the quality of a uh, turntable by how heavy the platter is. This is a, a lightweight platter. And uh, this is a belt drive. You can always uh, check these, taking the rubber platter mat off and seeing if the belt is uh, intact or not. Usually what happens is uh, the rubber the belts are made out of weren't meant to uh, stand up to a lot of time and they'll disintegrate and turn into a gooey mess that you have to use alcohol to clean. But uh, normally I don't like selling turntables that aren't going to uh, net me over $100 but uh, because they're, they're somewhat of, of a hassle to pack. You got to be pretty detailed. Um, especially on the on the more expensive, complicated ones, this one won't be too bad. And this one sold for eighty dollars.